I want to go straight to Glasgow and talk to the leader of the Scottish National Party and First Minister, uh, Nicola Sturgeon. First Minister, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank uh, you. Thank you for having me. Let's uh, talk about the SNP's uh, strong performance in this election. And was it something that you were expecting at the start of the evening? Um, I was expecting a good performance. I was expecting us to win the election and win it handsomely. But I, I think the results uh, that we're seeing recorded this evening uh, somewhat exceed uh, the expectations that I had. So it's been an exceptional night for the SNP. And, you know, Scotland has sent a very clear message. We don't want a Boris Johnson Conservative government. We don't want to leave the European Union. And we want Scotland's future to be in Scotland's hands. That's the message of this election in Scotland tonight. Just wondering about some of the messages in the campaign and you were very clear about the fact that in your view Scotland needed a strong SNP voice at Westminster in order to, as you say, protect Scottish interests and, uh, and the interests of the people of Scotland. However, um, it's not going to be a surprise if I say to you that on the basis of these figures, even if you have 50 plus MPs, uh, if you're up against a Conservative Prime Minister with a majority of let's say 60 or 65, there's not a lot you can do. Well, look, the, the result across the UK is grim. I don't want a Conservative majority government, uh, but the fact that that is what is going to be the, the position after uh, this election underlines the importance of Scotland having a choice of something different. And, you know, I, I don't pretend that every single person that voted SNP yesterday will necessarily support independence, but there has been a strong endorsement in this election uh, of Scotland having a choice over our future, of not having to put up with a Conservative government that we didn't vote for and not having to accept life as a nation outside the European Union. So that independence referendum that was very much at the heart of the SNP's campaign. There is a renewed, refreshed, strengthened mandate for that. And just as I reluctantly accept, because it's a direction I regret, that Boris Johnson has a mandate now to take England out of the EU, uh, he must accept that I have a mandate to offer Scotland the choice of an alternative future. And he will say, of course, that he's been very clear about the fact that he doesn't think another referendum is good and he will claim that he now has a mandate to stop that. Well, so what's your doesn't. response to that? Well, well he, his party has lost seats in Scotland this evening. The Scottish Conservatives put the issue of opposition to an independence referendum at the centre of their campaign. In fact, more than that, there was no other aspect to the Scottish Conservative campaign. And they have lost this election and they have lost seats. So Boris Johnson's argument in this election in Scotland has been flatly and completely rejected. So there is no doubt that is a mandate. I have a mandate to offer people that choice. And then, of course, it's up to people in Scotland to decide what choice they make. Uh, but Boris Johnson has no right, firstly, to take Scotland out of the EU and, secondly, no right to block the Scottish people choosing their own future. First Minister, good of you to join us. Thank you very much once again, Nicola Sturgeon. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh,